Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2024. Well, today I'm addressing a question that I received uh, where somebody quote unquote messed up his user interface or his workspace. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about how you can fix that and also the options you have. Now, as you can see right now, I have a huge work field, right? And there's not a lot else going on. And I chose to do it that way. Now, what are your options? Well, first of all, you can go to the top right corner up here where it says workspace and you can kind of select a number of defaults. So you can go to general, which will show you something like this. You can go to uh, the modeling standard. That's the one that I changed. You can go to a sculpting setup. You can go to an animation setup it's in there somewhere. And these are all tailored to whatever the task is at hand, right? So that's one option. Now, keep in mind though, that even if you select one of these, if you start messing with them, you might end up with something you don't like, right? So I did this on purpose, but let's say I didn't, right? And how do I fix this or how do I tweak it? Well, if you go up to Windows, you have workspaces, you have general and modeling standard, what I just showed you just now, right? And the others will find the top right corner. But you can go in here to UI elements and here is where you can pick and choose what you want on or off. So let's say I want to have my range slider, right? And I want to have, uh, I don't know, my status line and I want to have my shelf. It's kind of annoying that you have to go back in each time actually, but time slider, there you go. So that's how you do that. Now, let's say you want your animation information uh, down here, right? So uh, playback speed, that kind of thing. Uh, or you want your poly count up here. How do you fix that? Well, you go to display, heads up display, and here you have all the options you can turn on or off, right? So let's say I don't want the animation details in the bottom right corner. I click on that, it's gone, okay? Let's say I want to have my poly count in the top left corner. I turn that on. There you go. So with all these settings, you have plenty, plenty options to customize your workspace, right? So yeah, hopefully that was a helpful tip. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumb thing. And if you want to see more videos, please consider subscribing, right? Keep in mind that as of next week, I'll be starting with my Halloween series. It's going to be a complete set of five videos, and uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy that, right? Okay, so stick around to see that. Alrighty, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.